So I have my teleport working. It teleports me to zero, zero. Go ahead and run it. You won't actually see the teleport on this drawing panel, but you will see it printed out. So somewhere over here, after teleport, here we are at zero, zero. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna move this down there. Okay, so we don't have a method right. This is gonna move it to the right until it hits the right edge of the screen. Okay, so at this point, you should be able to guess how to write the right method. So you could go here, uh, create method, right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and write it myself. Uh, just to warn you, if you write it yourself, or if you let Java build it for you automatically, it will, I believe, make this a Boolean, which is what we'll actually need. But I wanted you to show you this error first. All right, so this method exists. However, looking at this, the incompatible types void cannot be converted to Boolean. So where this is, is inside a while loop. So this while is expecting what's inside to evaluate to true or false. P dot write, what that actually sends back is nothing, a void. So we need to make it a Boolean. So it's gonna return a Boolean. All right, so how do we move to the right? Well. We now need to start thinking about using the speed. So how do we move to the right? We need to increase our x value. x equals x plus speed. That's the easiest way to move to the right and then return true. I'm gonna hit play. Now there's a whole lot of other stuff that we could comment out. We don't need to see all these things happen. And so maybe let's go ahead and, whoa, look at what happened right there. Let's clean up the stuff that works. So I want to stop doing a lot of things up here. So I feel good about all the code. Basically, after we create the piece, I really don't need any of the stuff after that. Oh, and we're still running, by the way. So you better stop running and hit yes. All right. So I'm going to take out basically everything until we go to create drawing panel. All right, if, if you commented the right stuff, you shouldn't see any errors. I do need to make sure the drawing panel is created. Uh, and then I move to center. All right, I don't need to see all this stuff happen. So I do need the drawing panel created. And let's go ahead and start another slash star. Here we are, star slash. All right, so I create the drawing panel and the piece, and then I go right down to here. So we should see that happening. Oh, the drawing panel just went off the screen almost instantly. Ah, so first thing, we set the speed above, but this requires the speeds greater than zero. So we need to make sure that the speed what was the last value we set the speed to? I'm thinking it was something like 20. Here we go. These are all the bad values. Here's the last good value right here. So P set speed to 20. That does need to be down here. So I'll just go and drop it right there. Okay. So this should make our object. Now it just left the screen. Something more useful is what's printing out and it's not stopping either. This is a really, really big X value. And you might be wondering, well, how in the world did it get so big? R should stop at 300 or the width. Well, it didn't, it wasn't always like that. Look, it started reasonable. It's going up by 20. This is exactly what I expect to be seeing, but it should have stopped somewhere around here and it kept going. Now, why did it keep going? Well, Let's look at the code we call test piece, which is right here. All right, this is while p.write. This is only gonna stop 
if p.write returns false. So we have to decide when to return false in p.write. And of course, what will happen then, well, eventually we'll go down, left, up, etc. So we always return in true. Now, if I return false, let's think about what would happen. p.write will be false, so this won't even loop one time. The drawing panel disappeared and it's all done because p.write was false. All right, we have to decide when do we want to do this and when do we not? So I'll set this up So if x is not too big, we can make it bigger. But if x is too big, then we better not make it bigger. So you could do an if else. So you need to figure out what condition you need in here. And I'll give you a hint. It definitely relates to x. I'll put something wrong in here. And go ahead and run it. Well, I'll do a thousand. Go ahead and run it. I'm going to try to bring the window over. All right, so you see it leaving the screen and it should. Oh, look at that. It went back across the screen, back across the screen. Now, if you see what's happening, the speed is slowly decreasing two, then it will be one. And when speed is zero, it stops. All right, but again, we went way too far. So clearly a thousand is not the right value, but you should be able to see that eventually this is not true. So eventually it stops going to the right. Now the draw sleep clear, you won't see the, uh, the piece on the screen when the X chord is too big. So when you get the right, now it's tempting to put the right number in here, but remember you wanna use the height and the width that were at the top of this file, the top of lab four objects. All right, once you get right working, I recommend do down next. Now down's gonna be a little different. Obviously down is a vertical change, gonna change the Y coordinate. And the Y coordinate starts at zero and gets bigger. So it's gonna act a lot like going to the right, except it'll use the Y coordinate. When you're done going down, you go left. Left is the horizontal, the X coordinate, but this is going to decrease the X coordinate. Up is going to increase the Y coordinate. Okay, so you're going to slowly uncomment these, and then you should see your uh, piece sort of orbiting your window. And what happens in the code, it just goes faster and faster, and the delay gets smaller and smaller. Uh, well, actually, speed gets slower, but delay gets less. So what ends up happening is the steps it takes get smaller, but they get uh, more frequent. So the speed actually will appear to increase as it goes around.